Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you this bright pink, yellow and orange half cut crease eye look. This is again something new for me. I have never done such a look on my channel before. I was so afraid to put on those vibrant colors on my eyes until I saw Poulomi. She was wearing the same combo on her eyes and it was looking beautiful. Poulomi is also a beauty blogger. So yeah, before starting, please take a moment to subscribe. For that, go to your YouTube app and press that red subscribe button. Also, press the bell icon next to it so that you get notification whenever I upload. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. As always, I'm starting with my brows first. For that, first I'm taking this Wet n Wild Eyebrow Pomade in the shade Espresso. And I'm just drawing the borders of my brows first. Then I'll be filling them up using smaller strokes. I already shared with you my brow routine a couple of months ago. I will list that video down in the description bar below. So please go ahead and check that out. Now with a spoolie, I'm just combing my brows so that there is no excess product. I'm taking this Makeup Revolution conceal and define concealer in the shade uh, c7 and i'm just cl cleaning up the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and defined i'm also applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows that is coming up next i'm just blending it out using a damp beauty sponge from maybelline now with this wet and wild photo focus loose banana powder i'm just setting the concealer before it starts to crease and move around For my eyes, I'm taking this vibrant yellow color from my Beach Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I'm just applying it as my transition color. Now I'm taking this orange shade from the same palette and I'm just applying it on my crease and one more thing, these shades are not as pigmented as they look in the pan so you have to take your time and you have to build up the pigmentation. I think I had to go back like five to six times to get that intensity. Now with the same concealer, I'm just cutting my crease and I was uh, filming with a new um, lens and I'm sorry it became out of frame because I'm still learning how to operate it. I'm sorry for that. Now with a makeup removing a wipe, this is from Neutrogena, I'm just cleaning up my eyelid. I'm just reapplying the concealer again to have a smooth base for my eyeshadow. I'm just diffusing the borders of the concealer with my finger so that blending becomes easier later on. Now taking the same bright yellow color, I'm just applying it on my inner corners. I'm taking this bright pink shade from the same palette and I'm just applying it all over on my eyelid. As I have mentioned earlier, you have to take your time and you have to build it up, otherwise it's not gonna look that intense. And I had to uh, go back to the uh, palette for like 4 to 5 times to have that intensity. Now I'm just blending out the borders of that pink and the yellow so that there is a nice gradient effect. Now this palette does not have any matte brown eyeshadow so I took a matte brown eyeshadow from my Maybelline The Nudes palette and with this e.l.f. brush I'm just applying it on my outer view area to give my outer view area a bit of depth. Now I'm just drawing a wing here with my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. And I'm applying a glitter eyeliner on uh, the borders of my cut crease and it became out of frame again I'm sorry for that and that glitter eyeliner that I'm using it is uh, from amazon.in I will link it down in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out I'm going to finish my face for that first I'm taking this elf cosmetics poreless primer and I'm just priming my face I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago I'm color correcting a bit for that I'm using this LA Girl orange color corrector and I'm just applying it around my mouth underneath my eyes because I have pigmentation on those areas and I'm just blending it out using my finger 
For my foundation, I'm taking this Wet and Wily Photo Focus foundation in the shade Golden Beige and I'm just buffing it in again with the same damp beauty sponge. For highlighting and concealing, I'm using the same Makeup Revolution concealer and I'm just applying it underneath my eyes, um, on my chin, cupid bow, around my mouth, down the bridge of my nose, on the center of my forehead and just under here I'm going to place my contour next. And I'm just blending everything out again with the same damn beauty sponge. I'm just setting my under eyes as well as my smile lines with the same uh, wet and wild loose powder in the shade banana. Now applying a lot of loose powder underneath my eyes. If I get any fallout due to the eyeshadows, it will help to catch that fallout and I can dust it up later without spoiling my base. Now I'm going to finish my eye makeup. For that, first I'm tight lining my eyes with this Jordana Is Liner in the shade Jet Black. Now I'm applying the same matte brown eyeshadow from my Maybelline The Nudes palette and I'm just smudging out my entire lower lash line. Now taking the pink eyeshadow, I'm just applying it on the border of that brown eyeshadow. And I'm applying the yellow eyeshadow on my outer corners. I'm just curling my natural lashes with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm applying a coat of mascara. This is my wet and wild mega length mascara. For my falsies, I'm going with this Kiss Fox Mink lashes in the style Gala and I'm obsessed with these lashes. These are so so good. I'm just highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners with my Mary Luminizer from The Bomb Cosmetics. And here is the final eyeliner. As I forgot to set my face earlier, I'm taking this Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in the shade Transparent and I'm just um, setting my entire face and neck. I'm taking this Makeup Revolution Duo Face Sculpt and I'm just carving out my face a bit and for that I'm using an angled brush from Unastor and you know the drill right like the hollows of my cheeks, jawline, forehead, nose and to contour my nose I'm using an eyeshadow brush from Wet n Wild. And I'm taking this Rimmel London Maxi Blush in the shade Wild Card and I'm just applying it on my cheeks using this Wet n Wild Blush Brush. I'm taking the same uh, Mary Luminizer from the Bomb Cosmetics and I'm just hitting the high points on my face. For that, I'm using this Real Techniques Highlighting Brush. This highlighter, oh my god, it is so so good. It is a blinding highlighter. I'm just setting my entire makeup with this L'Oreal Too Match Lumi Makeup Setting Spray. For my lips, I decided to go with the pink theme, so I'm taking this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Prague, and this color is matching that eye look perfectly. And that's pretty much it. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any video requests then feel free to comment down below I'll be more than happy to make it for you. If you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out. So see you soon in my next one till then bye and take care.